All right, guys, we are in the uh, fourth gen Camaro today. Um, I'm getting ready to change out the uh, short throw shifter. Um, I'm going to have a, uh, or change it to a short throw shifter. I'm going to have a before and an after um, from when I change it from like stock to what it would be with the short throw, um, just to kind of see the difference. I just got off work. That's why I'm filthy. Ignore that. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna grab my tools real quick. I'm probably gonna hook you guys up on one of the T-tops so you can kind of see like a an aerial view of what I'm doing. And then uh, I'm just gonna start tearing it out and changing it and you guys will see it. All right, I was gonna put you on the T-top but I have the little carpet things on there and I have to take the T-top off to put you up there. I don't feel like doing that. Um, so first thing I have to do is take this piece off which if I remember right, I've only done this once. Yeah, there's one bolt down in here, and then there's two back in here. And I think the front just actually pops out. Um, you'll have to unhook your cigarette lighter and everything, but that's no big deal. Um, I have my tools sitting in the back seat, so I can actually do that pretty easily. My extensions. I want to say these are 10s. Uh, we're about to find out, though. Okay, so reason number three on why I think that short throw shifter is aftermarket. The bolt to take the center console off is really loose. These two are in here are really small. Uh, this one in here was a 10, by the way. These two back here are really small. I wanna say they're actually like a seven. Um, pretty sure that's what they were. Yeah, that's what it feels like. Again, it's been like, probably like two years since I've done this, so. Sorry if I mess anything up, or if I don't remember anything. And then this will probably be the last mod I do on the car, um, till I get the, uh, till I save up enough to, to buy the big mod that I'm getting ready to next, which it won't add any power or anything, but I want to get the, uh, Holly, um, EFI, the, um, Terminator X. It's like a whole new ECM and everything, but I want to get like the dashboard kit. So it's kind of expensive. Uh, so that way, once I get that, I can literally do all the other mods I need to do without like getting it tuned every single time. So if I want to do headers, I can just get them, get the headers and then the uh, EFI will actually do it for me, match the air fuel ratio so I'm not running a little lean. That should come off now. I really don't care if it breaks because I have the new piece. I just don't want the piece under it to break, which I bought the black one, not realizing that I had gray interior because I'm an idiot, but uh, yeah, so I might not use it. We'll see. Oh. Yeah, there we go. So if the black one looks too wrong, um, cause it is pretty black and this is more like the ebony color. Um, I'll just get the le leather piece that goes around the shift knob. It's like a boot and then just put it in this one. Um, but we'll see, I got that inside. So I'm not worried about that right now. I'm worried about the shifter. And then I don't necessarily know that we have to take this one out. I know it's a, a hell of a lot easier if we do. So I'm going to but I don't think you need to. And with that, there's two tins on the back, back here. And I want to say the front just pulls out, but you have to have this as far back as you can because that's a pain. So I'm going to get these two bolts and then I'll get back to you on that. Okay, so first of all, I will say GoPro needs to step their game up. This is one of many times that I was talking to a camera that was not recording because it had frozen. So this is how far I got. As you can see, center console off, big center console piece off. There's four bolts in that. I rambled on for that about that for like 10 minutes. Um, it is an aftermarket shifter. Looks like it says B&M. So it's a B&M shifter, um, which, you know, whatever, it's, it's cool, I guess, but MGW way cooler. So we're going to uh, finish doing that. And then I'm going to, I'm going to show you guys like, like how cool it is and stuff. Uh, oh, I also talked about, uh, this is old shift knob, um, just came off. This here is new shift knob, but I have no lock washer or locking nut for it. So we're not using it yet. Um. But basically, what I went over in like a gist, it was such a good video too. Um, basically, this has to be like way the frick up there. Um, and then 
you can kind of just like take the big center console and like move it up and pull it back. Uh, you guys didn't see those hand motions, but yeah. So basically what you're gonna do, see, can you guys still see me? Yeah, dope. All right, so what you guys are gonna do is you're gonna take off the little center console, take off the big center console, kind of difficult maneuvering everything inside of the car but you can do it um and then you're going to take off this little shift boot um usually has these little screws in it all the way around mine didn't have any not that important it's just for silencing and and noise or uh like smell and noise basically is all it's for um so yeah i'm going to take these four bolts out of this shifter here and put in my mgw and then Oh, uh, also, you have to put like a little um, seal of RTV, which comes with the shifter that you buy. So if you get the MGW short throw, I don't know about all the other shifters, but that is one thing that MGW gives you with the shifter. Just another reason that they're better. So I'm going to do that real quick, and then I will get back to you guys probably after I... Nah, I'll, I'll show you guys on video. You guys probably want to see it. It's, it's a video. Okay, so we're going to try to get this with one hand. Um, I don't know how hard this is going to be. I also mentioned that that is the airbag sensor right there, so I probably should have unhooked my battery before doing this, but I didn't. So if I get hit in the face with an airbag, just know that, you know, content, and we need content during this beer virus that's going on or whatever the fuck it is. This would be a whole lot easier if I had Allen sockets. Also be a lot easier if I had two hands, but got to do what you do for the vlog. Okay, guys, so I got the four bolts out. This should just, yeah, pop right off. Um, and you can see they had like a little RTV seal too going on. Um, yeah, so we're going to put some lube on this little thing right here. It's going to go down in there. And that'll give us what gear we're in and everything like that. So right down in there. And then these actually, uh, in case you guys don't know, these actually wear out sometimes. So if you guys are doing this, um, it's probably a good idea to put a new one in here. As you can see, mine's actually cracked right there. This sucks. Um, mine, it doesn't feel bad other than that little crack on top, but that shouldn't affect it. Um, I know when I got a transmission kit for my other car, it came with one, uh, but I didn't need it. So I'm going to get all this RTV off of here and then um, put mine on, and then I'll get back to you guys after that. All right, guys, so I got most of it off. Uh, the rest I can't really get without a razor blade and I don't have one on me. So I'm gonna start putting mine on. Uh, normally you have like a nozzle for this. Mine's inside and I'm lazy, so I'm not gonna go get it. So I'm just gonna like try to apply it as best I can. And I'll probably get crucified for that in the comments, but I don't really care. And I just went right over the hole. Okay, so I'm gonna put the camera down while I do this and then uh, I'll get back to you guys when I'm not doing this. So be right back. All right guys, so I got the MGW in here. Um, I'm just tightening down the last four bolts now. I just wanted to make sure that you guys know um, if you're going to do this, be careful with these threads. Um, I've seen people in this exact transmission like rip out threads on these. I don't know. I think they're cast aluminum and that's probably why um, because it's not very strong as far as like the threads go, obviously. Um, so just be really careful not to over tighten it. There's like a washer and then a rock washer. So. They don't need to be like super deadly tight. Um, they'll hold because of the lock washer. So just get it snug and then like back off because don't don't over tighten it. Bad time. So I'm going to tighten run down this last bolt um, and then I'll put my new shift knob on here just so I can get it like a picture. Um, and then I'm going to figure out and put all this like back together and figure out if I need to use the new one of this or if I can use this one. Okay, guys. So as you can see, um, the center console is in uh, the bottom half. Um, I got my two 10 volts here, uh, one 10 millimeter, two up front. Um, it's on either side on the outside. And then the shifter boot actually gets sh stretched down uh, quite a bit more on the MGW shifter than it does on the other ones because uh, the block that's down there comes up so much farther. So I actually found, as you can see, a couple of makeshift screws. I got four of them in there because this one didn't have any in it, um, which explains a lot of the noise I was hearing. Um, so just be wary of that. So yeah, if you're doing an MGW shifter, just remember that you're gonna have to have some screws there because it's it's gonna pull that down quite a bit. Um, so the way I have this set up is uh, you can actually move this, uh, the block on it, because you got like, so you got your, your mount here and then the stick comes over, but you can spin that stick around the mount whichever way. So if you wanted it clear over here, you could, but 
you'd obviously be hitting this over here. So that's what I'm going to try to avoid is hitting the, the, the top center console because that'll make it break. And that actually happened on my last one. And that's why I had to redo it. So the only issue I'm having now is I don't know if you could really see it. Um, I ordered black because I had just bought the car. Wasn't really sure. Just assumed that I had black interior, which I do, but it's pretty faded. I just don't know if I want to try to take this out and put it in that one. So it would be perfectly colored mashed. I mean, it's not too much darker. Like, you know what? We're putting the new one on. We're going with it. So I'm going to put this on real quick. Put my shift knob on. Get a thumbnail. Put the old one back on. And get um, some after effects. So that way we can see how short the th shift throws are. Which I was just messing with it. And they are very short. Uh, I'm going to get to that. And then I will get back to you guys. All right, guys. So here is the before. Oh, here, put it in neutral. Here is the before. Um, I'm sure you like a top view so you can kind of see. So there's first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth. So that's the before that we uh, changed to the MGW uh, short throw. All right, guys, finally got her back done. Uh, so this actually does fit a little different than the other one did. So um, can't use that either. Well, I mean, I could have just the one through six which would be upside down and you'd be trying to shift gears you don't have so um so basically what i wanted to do now is show you the after so there's see that's over one two three four five six and one thing i will say that i noticed about this last time i got it so this here is a lot fir more firm and it's uh shorter first gear is is there i mean it's it, it feels like it's not in gear, but it it is. So basically, it makes it way shorter, but it also kind of does make reverse really hard to get to. So if you're not a fan of like notchy like gears, like don't don't do a short throw shifter. But I personally think that this is way nicer of a feel um and then i was like with that replaced and everything else like good like the color doesn't mismatch as much as i thought it would um so it definitely looks a lot better in here so that's that's the key um this is in thumbnail this is the the knob that you guys see when you see the video um i bought it i just like i said i don't have the um lock nut for it to go on here so i can't use it yet um i'm probably gonna pick that up today actually so That'll probably be the end of this video. Um, yeah, that'll be the end of this video. And next video you guys see will probably be me driving this car because um, I still have to get it insured. I have the plates and it's like registered and everything. I just haven't started the insurance on it. So I'm gonna do that. And then you guys will probably see me driving it. I might check the transmission fluid. It, it feels a little dry. So I'll do that and off video and everything. And then uh, yeah, you guys will see me driving it next. So until then, um, I'm not really sure when I'll have next content out. It's raining really like a lot. It snowed actually today. Um, there's that beer virus that everybody's freaking out about. So I don't really know when I'll have a good chance to do like a lot of like good videos, but next sunny day, I'm gonna have this car out. I mean, there's no getting around that and I'm probably gonna wash it and everything. So um, till then I'll see you guys later.